Pika Labs is an AI platform that converts text and image inputs into videos. Let me show you how to get started generating your videos. There are two ways you can generate videos. First, public generation. To create a public video, go to any of the 10 generate channels. Second, private generation. To create a private video, message PikaBot directly. To do this, right-click on the bot in the users list on the right and select message. Once you've decided on the method you want to use, enter the create command at the bottom and enter the prompt you'd like to use. Here is a prompt example. To animate an image, click on plus one more, select image, and proceed to upload your desired image. Thumbs up tells the bot and the Pika Labs team that you like this video and Pika did a good job. Thumbs down tells the bot and the Pika Labs team that Pika made something ugly, wrong or the video didn't move at all. Repeat prompt tells the bot to make another video using the same words. It will keep the same image attached. Edit prompt. Opens the edit prompt box for you to make changes, fix errors, and try something else. It will keep the same image attached. <music> delete video. This will permanently delete your prompt and video. This cannot be restored. Type yes in English and press submit to confirm you want to delete, press cancel to keep the video. Pika Labs offers five optional arguments for better video generation control. First optional argument is the guidance scale argument. It is used to adjust the guidance scale. Higher numbers produce videos more closely aligned with your prompt text. Recommended values range from 8 to 24. The optional arguments must be added after the prompt words. Use a space to separate them from your prompt words and each other. For illustration, let's first use a low guidance scale value of 10. Next, we'll try a high guidance scale value of 22. The second optional argument is the negative argument. This argument specifies what you don't want included in the video. It accepts only words enclosed in quotation marks. As an illustration, we'll begin with a prompt without the negative argument. Next, we'll try a prompt with a negative argument. The third optional argument is the aspect ratio argument. This argument determines the video's aspect ratio, which is the ratio of its width to its height. It accepts numerical ratios such as 16 to 9, 9 to 16, 1 to 1, and 4 to 5. For illustration, let's start with a prompt specifying a 16 to 9 ratio. Next, we'll craft a prompt for a 9 to 16 ratio.
The fourth optional argument is the seed argument. This argument uses a seed number to achieve more consistent video generation. For demonstration, let's produce a video and then download it. The seed number of a generated video is found at the end of its file name. Next, we are going to change the guidance scale argument from 10 to 20, use our seed number, and then examine the results. The fifth and final optional argument is the motion argument. The motion argument determines the amount of motion in the video and supports values from 0 to 4. For illustration, let's first use a low motion argument value of 0. Next, we'll use a high motion argument value of 4. If no optional arguments are specified in the prompt, default values will be used. 